Hi guys and welcome back. Today I've got Alex here with me. Now he is an enthusiast and he actually, all, sorry, and he actually works in the industry. He actually works for Vaping Distribution, um, which is a company that supplies so many shops out there. So that's absolutely great. I'm going to have his opinion on everything. Uh, today we're going to review the RTA for the Triton. We've got um, Sig Cloud's own fishbone, fishbone, which is just there. Um, we also have a clone which they've done, which is the uh, Velo velocity. Velocity, that's the one. I'm getting so confused with all this stuff now. Um, and the other one that we're going to be doing is a clone of J Bo's uh, Bambino. So we're going to have a quick look at them. We're going to dive down. Uh, hopefully, I'll get Alex to build a few for me because he's a better builder than me, definitely. Um, and Plus, we'll see how they go. Again, I'll give you the, uh, the genuine view as well. So. Oh yeah, yeah, so he's got both the originals for these products, so he'll be giving his opinion on these as well. Um, and we'll just compare them to the originals. We ain't gonna be able to show you them up close and personal, because I forgot to tell him to bring them. Um, but you know, we'll make do. <laughs> so let's head down and uh, we'll show you what we got. Okay, so here are the boxes. Uh, we're going to have a quick look to see what's inside all of these. So let's just put these to the side. And let's start off with the Bambino. Bambino's my buy uh, tobacco. Yep. Yeah, tobacco. So that's it. I mean, lovely small little RDA. Great for flavour. Um, let's just have a look. So it comes apart, three parts. So chimney piece, for your airflow. And there's your deck there. So it's a three post design, all with Philips heads. Uh, the original? Flat heads. Flat heads on the original, so that's different. But nice juice well just there. Quite deep. I hope you can see that. Okay. Um, how would you find that this compares to the original? Have a quick butchers. Oh, they're round headed screws. The other ones are flatter and wider. Um, looking at that, the screw head. It's quite far up actually. Yeah, and on the original as well, that doesn't happen. So it doesn't actually slide all the way through. So I did through notice that. Steps. Yeah. So I think on this one, you'd have to put the top cap on first and then um, do it that way just to measure it upright. Yeah, if you look there as well, you can actually see in the hole there, um, the screw comes quite far up as well, which mm -hmm. can cause problems with airflow. But nice. The engraving's slightly different as well. Um, but with the original, you have to get an option of the standard top cap like that mm -hmm. or a opaque plastic top cap which stops heat transfer. Right, okay, yeah, those options aren't available on the um, on the clone. But I mean, for the price, I think I picked that up on eBay actually for like £10 and the original is? Uh, I've got a Bake Jam for 35 35 for the original. So uh, it's, I would have rather have got the original but I was a bit hasty and I just decided to buy it quickly. Um, I did see that Alex had it, then he told me he was selling his, so um, yeah, bad luck on that one. But, you know, not bad, I still might get it off of him just for the sake of it. And uh, yes, so that would be the J Bo Bambino. Then we come to the Cloud Sig versions. Right, Cloud Sig have come out with their own design. Now, the bottom base you did say that this reminded you of something, or it's the same as? Um, it's similar to the Kennedy. Similar to Kennedy, go for it. The difference with the Kennedy is that on this fishbone here, it's getting what it takes off. Uh, if it's still seem new, it hasn't been used yet, it's a bit sticky. Mm -hmm. So also while he's uh, doing that, uh, it does come with a spare glass, which is just there, and a little box of tricks there as well, so let's get rid of that box. So yeah, there you go, there's that one there. Uh, on the Kennedy original, uh, you don't have any lips around here, it's just literally two tubes coming straight up through the deck, um, which is quite nice actually. I find that you could probably get more wick down there if those edges weren't there as well as you get more juice in there as well because obviously that block there well that makes sense for many purposes to machine it from one piece it does take up juice capacity which means you get less hits out of it three post design as I said this one is airflow from the bottom so I'll just show you the bottom there if you can see those holes so the air will come straight through and then hitting the underneath of the coil um, and then glass on top you know big ball Okay, we might need a new one of those. Luckily it comes with the spare, so no problems there. Um, you know, so look forward to building that one and having a look at that. So that is the fish bone. Um, and then we have, now this is the Velocity. This one is the clone, and Alex actually has the original with him as well. Uh, let's break this one down too. So this one it is a screw-on chimney. Um, and then 
you can take the airflow. As you can see, as you open up the airflow, you get this mouthpiece come up, and it little two eyes there if it lines up. Obviously, it's you can, the happy attic. Uh, the happy attic. <laughs> For the price, is very happy. <laughs> What's the original of this? Uh, one hundred and fifteen dollars. One hundred and fifteen dollars. About eighty. Uh, about eighty pound. Okay. Now this was, um, I think between 15 and 20 pound for the clone um, so you know it's an easy way of trying them out before you buy the original I guess um, so that's that piece off again you've got this rubber ring here which makes it nice and tight for when you're actually screwing down the airflow so it's not going to just twist off by itself if I can pull it out there we go now this is a two post design this one's quite interesting um, I don't think I've seen another one with this sort of... Hobo V3 had it. Okay, Hobo um, V3. Prior to that, the first one I've seen with two post design was in fact the Magma. Okay, Magma. Yeah, another great uh, great RDA, that one especially for flavour. Um, this one compared to the Magma, flavour-wise? Uh, flavour-wise, they don't compare in my opinion. Uh, some reason is that the Magma's got much more chamber. Right. Uh, as well, this one here, you've got so much more airflow. Yeah. And the airflow's got wind out adjustability versus the set airflow holes you've got on the magma there you go yeah a lot more airflow on this one yeah definitely agree as you can see that hole really opens up and then if you wanted to you can use the um little holes that go around it if you line them up you'll get holes all the way around this is a lot of airflow in this one it's much more versatile than the magma though um i quite like the idea of having these two post designs but i find on the velocity um legs are spaced out a little bit too much um, so I noticed that when I was building it, you, they stretch out a bit further yeah. than you'd but want. But right, you can get hot legs as well, which means basically your leg from the pole itself to the coil will heat up before anything else does. Yeah, I've noticed that when you're heating them up, yeah, you'll get that, yeah, yeah that strand just heating up yeah. before the rest if of it. Build it right and be okay, but if first couple of builds will be temperamental. It's, it's a learning curve with this one. Yeah, definitely uh, not for beginners then. Uh, I have heard as well with these, we look on the inside on the deck there. Uh, see the insulator on that side there on the positive post which screws down in the centre. Um, I've heard of some of these being pushed in too far, they split the insulator and short out the side. Um, so if you are buying one of these, just have a look and make sure that the insulator isn't, insulator isn't perished or damaged by the post that's been screwed in because uh, you will have no end of problems trying to get it working properly. Right, um, just to mention, this one actually just comes with coils, doesn't come with any screwdrivers or any. I think there was there a No, absolutely nothing in there. Uh, oh yeah, it did come with an Allen key, sorry. Um, and the only other thing it comes with is a drip tip uh, 510 adapter. This one does hold a lot of uh, liquid in there. But very nice, I like it. Nice thick O-rings just there. I'm not sure if it's an adjustable. I'd have to double check. Uh, yes, I think no, it is. I think it's still a quad coil build on there. Listen, if Alex is building it, I'd love to see it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> two on the top holes, two on the bottom holes. Now, that would be nice to see. I have seen it done on uh, YouTube, but I haven't actually done one myself. I am not that skilled of a coil maker yet, um, but I am learning. So, yeah, we'll take it from now. So, that was that. Let's just move these out of the wing. And then the last thing we're going to be looking at is Aspire's Triton RTA uh, system or adapter kit. This is quite nice. Again, this one is, I think it's sold roughly about $9.99. Comes with a little card there. Comes with O-rings in there. It's little uh, screws. What are they? Little flatheads just there. Fair insulator. Yeah. Uh, insulator. It's in the back there. Is it there? So uh, replace the insulator there. Oh, there you go. So insulator and, and some O-rings. You also get a card in there, and it'll just give you information as to uh, what size or thickness of wire to use. Um, what else is on there what sort of resistance you'll get out of it as well so that comes in there other than that they've given you a pre-made coil you've given you a screwdriver and obviously the bits to uh, put it all together so we'll have a quick look at that what do you reckon you could build out of that one so a standard vertical build uh, apparently they're a bit uh, interesting to build due to the fact that it one uh, connects at the top and one's at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, another interesting one. This is just going to be a great review, this is. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, what we'll do is, I know I th uh, flew through them quite quickly, but I want to get them built. There are quite a few to get through. Um, and we'll take it back up top and see how they vape, see the flavours and uh, get Alex's opinion and myself. Uh, and we'll take it from there. 